Welcome to Studio 122. I'm your host, Cheney Mays. Today we have a couple of fashion icons with us, but not just any fashion icons. They're fashion icons right here on Texas A&M University Commerce. Please welcome AJ and Evan. Thank y'all for joining us today. Thank you. Thank you for having us. So first question I really want to ask y'all is about yourselves. Uh, how did you get into fashion? First, I'll ask well, you. I was into fashion like since I was young. My mother always kept me clean kept and stuff like that. So I was able to, you know what I mean, get into it because she was always into fashion. I was always rocking the new stuff, the designers, pants, shirts, and all that stuff. So when I got here to college, it's like I found my own way how to put things together, and it just became that way. For sure. What about you, Evans? Oh, uh, for me, well, yeah, it, it was about the same. Uh, growing up, my mom, she made sure that I had the nice tennis shoes, the designer coats, the shirts, the pants, whatever. And um, <clears throat> as I got older, you know, I, I veered off. I just wanted to do the basketball and the white t-shirt thing and just be an athlete, supposedly. Oh, uh, but as I got older, you know, I started dealing with girls and I started, you know, making, like, being out there more. So really I- Really caring I, what yeah. your parents do. So I, you know, took a little fashion from here and there and just did my own thing and it got me this far, so. Speaking of where you got your uh, fashion from, besides your mom's, mm -hmm. who are uh, some of your favorite fashion icons? I can say I like Chris Brown style, Prince, because he's very open-minded. I love Prince. He started a lot of stuff, so right. I can say Prince right. was a good one. I like D-Wade, Dwayne Wade, and that's about it, really. Uh, for me, I would have to say, um, of course, Dwayne Wade, um, Chris Brown, uh, LeBron James, of course. Um, Oh, it's so many of them. Uh, I, I even I like Lil Wayne, uh, Lil, you know, skateboard <laughs> swagger he got going on. Um, oh, and Chance the Rapper, like he's he's odd, but I, I like the way he put things together. So I like his style yeah. too. Speaking of, you know, some of those that you mentioned have a couple of their own clothing lines. Uh, do y'all plan on maybe creating one of your own clothing lines one day? Uh, it could be a possibility. We're gonna see what happens because. It's a lot of people doing that, so I want to stand apart from everybody else. So if I actually come across the idea of putting clothes together, it's gonna have to be special at the right moment. Me, uh, no, I don't. I don't think I get off into the fashion line per se. Um, I leave that up to him. <laughs> he, I'll be. Y'all can collaborate. Yeah, but I'll be more the friend. He called me like, I need you to wear this shirt. <laughs> And like, I I rock the shape for him or something, but as far as just designing my own line, I, I don't really get off into it that much like he does, so I, I leave that to him. I just, <laughs> I'll be the model. There you say. go. That's a good job. Um, so someone right now that's really, you know, famous in pop culture, Kanye West, he has his right, clothing right. line out, and of course, I'm dying for a pair of Yeezys. <laughs> if I had the money, I would buy like 15 right, right now. Right, right. Um, speaking of the prices, do you think he overprices his... Clothing line? Well, yes. First of all, Yeezy yes. for 2020. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. But um, I like his clothing. I mean, it's different when he came out with it. It was like, wow, it's like very, I don't know. It's ripped up. It's like anybody can do it, but it's Yeezy. So it's that brand name. Yeah, it's the brand name. Right. It's very overpriced to me because I can do that myself with a shirt. I agree. From like Walmart. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah, for me, I just feel like, yeah, it's, it's too much overpriced because. To say that he sell it so high is when you see him, it's just something basic that you would never think of. Or he might go get a hoodie, cut off the sides, just leave a hoodie and put marks in them, but you're selling it for like two thousand, three thousand dollars. Right. So to me, I you know, I'm a big fan of Yeezy, of course, but it, it just, I just can't mess with his clothes. It's too much for me. Totally understandable. Too much. Where is um some of your favorite places to shop at? Um, uh, I like thrift stores. I love thrift store I, I, I like shopping. Thrift stores yeah. a lot. Um, I really don't like going to malls because they're overpriced. <laughs> but like, if I got it, like, <laughs> I mean, but um, just going to different like urban places that I can buy things like ripped up jeans. I got these from uh, Urban Outfitters. The jacket is just, I mean, the shirt. I got this from, I think Zooms, and I just cut it up. Just Open to make up it look your nice. jacket. Can we see it? Oh, just, oh, I mean, cool. just something fun. I dig it. Fun, and yeah. then. The shoes. Yes, can't, everyone can't check out both of their these. shoes. Hey man, you know what I'm Hey, 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 there's a lot of money here. Uh, for me, um, 
H&M, uh, you know, I even go to, to uh, Forever 21. Um, reasonably, reasonably priced yeah, places. Yeah, just, and I, I do the thrift thing too. Like, I, I feel like it's a lot of adventures and clothes in the thrift store, you know. Absolutely. And you can it's do way cheaper too, so. For all sure. Day, yeah. If you're just now joining us, I'm here with AJ and Evans talking about fashion, which is, I'm sure, everyone's favorite subject. Um, so can we talk about um, some different styles? Um, how do y'all feel about denim on denim? Because that's coming back in. You know, that was a very 80s, uh, thing, 70s yeah, things yeah. to do, but it's coming back in. How do y'all feel about that? Um, with denim, I think I think it works. Uh, I'm a firm believer. It, it all depends on the person. My mom always told me when I was young that um, it's not about the name brand. The things that you get, it's just about how you wear it. And if you wear it a certain way, people are going to vibe to it and they're going to like it because you put it that way. So uh, if you like denim, I, I, hey, salute you. You do your thing. <laughs> keep, it going, keep, right. keep going. I mean, denim on denim is cool. I mean, I always, like, my mom told me, you know, I got to the wrong subject. Yeah. My mom told me everything doesn't have to match. Colors don't have to match. So if you have, like, a light blue denim pants on and you have, a like, a darker denim jacket, I mean, you can put on some shirt and shoes that let it pop. So yeah. it's just how you rock it. I mean, how you can put it together. It depends on the day, what kind of denim you want to wear. Just, it's up to you. What's your favorite accessory? How do you, how do you dress up something like, say, denim on denim? I mean, the watch is classic. Yeah, yeah. Watches, watches. you watches. can never go wrong Gotta, with watches. You never go wrong. And lately, um, the jewelry too, the chains, that, that became a big accessory to have too. So I say watches and the chains or rings or whatever. Yeah. If you had to choose either a hat or shades, and that's the only thing you could choose from, what would you choose? You got it. You want me to get it? Yeah. I get it. <laughs> okay, so I say shades because, you know, well, it all depends. Like, you know, some guys, you know, if they don't have a haircut, they like to put the hat on with the fit and it, it settles. Um, but if you're a guy that, you know, that like to wear haircuts all the time, then I, I believe shades. Me personally, I have a haircut all the time, so I do better with shades. Right, and that's the same thing. A lot of people that go to school, college kids, they can't get haircuts, so they're forced to wear hats because their hair might be messed up one day or two. So if you can get a haircut every week or so, hey, wear shades. But if you can't, hey, the cat might be working for you. Yeah. What about just one quick fashion tip you could give our viewers? Quick. Quick. Um. One tip I can give is um, just be yourself, be original. Mm -hmm. that, that's the biggest thing, just be original. Um, it's so much different things out here in this world that you can just, you know, make your own. And I, that's the one thing I say, just be original. And not only be original, like step out the box. I mean, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Yeah, don't be afraid. Let people tell you what's cool or not. I mean, if you like it, wear it. Yeah. If you think that's, yeah. I mean, you can change something, you think you can pop out and go out and look fly like me, but that's not so. If you can do that, go ahead and <laughs> go ahead and do you. And just be yourself always. Absolutely. Well, yeah. thank you guys so much for joining thank us you. today and giving thank us you. your opinions you. on fashion. Y'all obviously look awesome. And <laughs> no, you look, you look wonderful. You fly though. Thank you know, you. I'm trying to get some boots. Nah, no, I can't get no boots like that. <laughs> Hopefully the students will see you around campus and they can check out your fashion, get some own ideas, you know, for thank themselves. You. Thank you, thank you. Well, this has been Studio 122. I'm Chaney Mays. Thanks for joining us.